So this is the first lecture of biostatistics that we're having. Um, please do subscribe to my channel and like my video so that I know how the response is and let me know in the comments down below what topic you would like to see next. So this is our sample population. In this population, the clear figures represent normal people, 10 normal people, and the darker one represent 10 diseased people. So here are the diseased people scattered amongst the normal people. Uh, this is the population on which we decide to test a new laboratory test. So we're going to figure out how good this new test is for being used as a screening test and for being used as a diagnostic test. Now let's suppose that out of these people, the number of diseased people were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 multiplied by 10 is 200. So there are 200 people who have the disease. And then there is a total of 600 people who are in this population. So with that calculation, we can say that in this 600 group of people, 200 have the disease and 400 people are normal. Are we good so far? So moving on, let's put the data into a 2x2 two two table. The reason why this is called a 2x2 two two table is because it has two rows and two columns. The first column is for the people who have the disease and the second column is for people who do not have the disease or the normal people. The first row is for the people who tested positive with the disease and the second row is for the people who tested negative with the disease. So the population that we discussed earlier in that we saw that there were 200 people who did have the disease. So we're going to write it all the way down here, right here, 200 for the people who did have the disease. And then we saw that there were 400 people who did not have the disease, so we're going to write it right here. The not diseased or the normal population and 400, right here. 400 plus 200 is 600, which is the total number of our, uh, which is the total number of our population, which is going to be written right here. Now let's suppose that in this population, out of the 200 people that did have the disease, our test was able to pick out only 150. Let's quickly put down the values in the table. People with the disease who tested positive were 150, which is going to be written right here. So 150 out of 200 people tested positive for the disease using this test. Now an error that this test made is that it also diagnosed some normal people with the disease, although in fact they did not have the disease. Let's put that in the table as well. The normal people who tested positive with this test were 100. So out of a total of 400 normal people, 100 were incorrectly diagnosed to be positive for the disease. So adding these two together, 150 plus 100 gives us 250 which means that in the population that we had, 250 people were diagnosed positive for the disease when in fact only 150 people actually had the disease. Now the people with the black color filled in them, the diseased people were left out, are the ones that were given a negative result despite the fact that they did have the disease and this number is going to be written down right here. 50 people were diagnosed negative, although they in fact did have 
the disease. There were a number of normal people who were correctly diagnosed negative by the test as well, which are these people that we haven't ticked marked. So this number is going to be written right here. 300 is the number of people who did not have the disease and they also got a negative result on the test. I hope we're good so far. So let's again take a look at our 2 by 2 table. These are the people who had the disease and tested positive in the test. And these are the people who had the disease yet tested negative on the test. So the total number of people who have the disease will be equal to the number of people with the disease who tested positive plus the number of people who tested negative but did in fact have the disease which is going to be 150 plus 50 making it 200. Coming on to this side, this is the number of people who were normal but they did have a positive result on the test. This number is 100 and these are the people who are normal but they had a negative result on the test which is 300. 100 plus 300 is 400 which is the number of normal people in the population. On this side we have the total number of people in the population who tested positive regardless of their disease status which is 250. Amongst these 250, only 150 actually had the disease. Over here, we have a total of the people who tested negative for the disease, when in fact, only 300 people were actually negative for the disease. 600, which is written over here, is the total number of people in the population. 200 plus 400 is equal to 600, and 250 plus 350 is also going to be equal to 600.